Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I showed you guys how I use the mini DV camera and some footage. However, I also had footage of me trying to import it for the first time and succeeding. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you guys how you can import the footage from mini DV tapes straight onto your MacBook. So without further ado, let's skip to the original video. I have a few things um, that I need. So I have obviously got my camera. This camera only has one battery, so I need to keep it connected to the power all the time. So I'm gonna keep it plugged in to the power. I have a Firewire 400 to DV cable. So the DV cable is going to get plugged in to the side of this camera. What the people on YouTube have said after extensive research, there were a few different options and a lot of people have been using these RCA cables, but this doesn't have an RCA thing in it. Like bigger VHS cameras and stuff had that, but this doesn't have that. So this just has a DV input with Firewire. This is a Firewire adapter, um, which gives you Firewire 400 to 800 because the next adapter that we need is Thunderbolt to Firewire from Apple. But unfortunately, the Apple Thunderbolt Firewire adapter only takes Firewire 800. So we have to connect the 400 to this connector to the Thunderbolt. And then obviously, because I don't have a Thunderbolt attachment in my laptop anymore, I need to then get Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3, which is USB-C. So we're gonna have a chain and I'm going to unpack this and we're gonna see if this works. And I'm scared, but it should work. First of all, we need to plug this camera into the power outlet. So you can see here that it is charging and then we can turn it on and we can see that it is working. Okay, then we have the firewire cable, which obviously doesn't plug into USB-C. This all did cost me a little bit of money. I think it cost me about a hundred bucks in total, but I'm hoping that if I use this camera a lot, that it will be worth it because I uh, I don't want to get tapes digitized all the time because that would be expensive and tapes are expensive. So hopefully I've got a few tapes. Hopefully I can just constantly reuse the tapes. And um, obviously Apple have the most ridiculously expensive adapters. That is why this all costs a little bit more money. But also I think it's a good idea to invest in the Apple stuff. Sigh of relief. And then this is gonna plug directly into the computer. We have the Thunderbolt and then we have the adapter. As you can see here, everything is connected. It looks a absolute mess. iMovie, create a new project. I haven't used iMovie in a very long time. Um, and then file, import media. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. It's you. It's you. It's you. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Oh, I'm so happy right now. It's now rewinding and then I'm gonna hit import and then I'm gonna let it import and then I'm gonna have my videos on my laptop. And I'm so excited. I'm so glad it worked. It was worth the money. So now I'm just gonna actually import the video and I just have to hit import on the so I click on the DV that's here. I skip back to the beginning. Obviously you have to keep your laptop connected to a power supply as well. I'm gonna let it run. It's only about 19 minutes of footage, so it shouldn't take too long. It's so nostalgic.